Batman Divide is a common coaster you can find at many Six Flags parks as it is a cloned B&M invert that you can find actually at many parks. Mostly they're all at Six Flags parks, but they're also at some other parks. However, today I want to talk about why I think Batman Divide clones are great coasters. So in my opinion, I think Batman Divide clones are great coasters. Now, I've only been in two Batman Divide clones. Batman Divide at Six Flags Over Georgia and Batman Divide at Six Flags Great Adventure. I really want to ride more Batman Divide clones so I could compare them to each other. However, right now, I've only been in two of them. Um, the Six Flags Over Georgia one is by far the best one, in my opinion. I love the one at Great Adventure, but the one at Over Georgia is definitely better because that one's insane. I mean, the pacing on the Over Georgia one is really good. The inversions are more whippy and snappy. Um, both are equally as forceful, though. Like, both pull the same amount of forces. Um, that's another thing about these rides. They pull some great forces. Like, there's a lot of foot numbing on your feet. Um, and also, these rides are very snappy, too. Like, they whip through every element because this ride is also very compact. So, it packs a very big punch for how small this these clones are. Um, Batman Divide clones feature five inversions, two vertical loops, a zero G roll, and two corkscrews. Personally, my favorite part on the Batman Divide clones are the zero G rolls. Uh, however, I at Six Flags Over Georgia, I love the final corkscrew on Batman Divide uh, at Over Georgia because that one is just so snappy. Um, as I said, I do prefer the Six Flags Over Georgia one to the Great Adventure one. Um, just because the Over Georgia one is uh, more aggressive and more snappy. I mean, look at it going through this corkscrew. This thing absolutely hauls through its corkscrew. And the pacing on this ride is, is absolutely amazing too for the Over Georgia one. Right here, I have a comparison of how both run. And as you could, and if you watch this, you'll see the Six Flags Over Georgia one definitely goes faster. Um... I really want to ride more Batman Divide clones. The next one I'll probably be riding that's a new credit is most likely going to be the one at Six Flags Magic Mountain since I plan to go there next year. Um, and that one I heard is also really good. I heard it's one of the best ones. I heard Six Flags Over Georgia has the best Batman clone and I could totally see why because Six Flags Over Georgia's Batman clone is absolutely insane and it actually feels like a mini Raptor to me. Um, it's just... And the one at Great Adventure is also really good too. And controversial opinion, but I prefer both Batman and Ride clones. I've run into Banshee at King's Island, uh, mostly because the Batman clones are more whippy, more snappy. And the one at Over Georgia is just way, way better than Banshee. Um, the Batman and Ride clone at Great Adventure is pretty close with Banshee at my rankings, but the one at Over Georgia is definitely better. Um, but these rides are just very underrated in my opinion. The forces on them are great. The whip is amazing. The ride is snap. The rides are snappy. Um, they're aggressive, and these are just overall very good coasters. Um, I heard some run better than others. Um, I think I've the one at Over George is definitely one of the best ones, and the one at Great Adventure is also really good. However, I did hear from other people that it is one of the weaker ones. However, I think the Great Adventure one's really good. So if the Great Adventure one's one of the weaker ones, then I know I'll love a lot of the other Batman clones as well. So yeah, that is a video on why of me discussing why I think Batman and the Ride clones are great rides. Make sure to like this video, also subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time. Keep coasting on my coaster demons. Peace out.